I look like a carrot. <laughs> I look like a Oompa Loompa's big toe. <laughs> I look old. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You clicked on this video for honesty and that's what you're getting. everyone it's kendall here if you're new around here welcome if you're not new around here what is up home skeleton biscuit i'm kind of feeling my um my little head piece right here style korean style korean sent this to me so this is a cute little hint <laughs> This is probably the biggest one of these head thingies that I own, but I'm just, I'm feeling it. Okay. So this series has me a little shook because y'all seem to like it. A lot of y'all knew around here and have come around here because I have deplorable spending. <laughs> I'm not going to call it that anymore. I'm going to call it investment because y'all seem to really appreciate me doing horrible things to my wallet. Like I don't mind, you know? So today we're doing another I Spent video. This one is for milk makeup. Everyone wanted me to do milk makeup or beauty bakery, but I wanted to do beauty bakery, but the whole like fact that beauty bakery's number 25 foundation is not in stock. No when it will be in stock. So, <laughs> so I have a bunch of beauty bakery stuff, but I just don't have the foundation or the concealer which is the whole point. So we're not doing beauty bakery today. Instead, we're doing milk makeup probably uh, could be considered one of the beginning, if not the beginning of this whole millennial makeup trend in the United States right now. Put everything on with my fingers and I'm like cool and whatnot. K-Beauty inspired version of that with Kaja, Glossier, I did Oh Hi, and now today we're doing milk makeup. I have not tested any of these products out on my face, but I have been doing some swatching and um, I'm concerned. <laughs> but we're gonna see how it goes anyway. Um, hopefully it applies better on my face um, cause no one wants to waste, <laughs> oh shoot, $500. Um, this is the part, you know it, where I say please share this video because I'm not trying to waste my money. True, your girl has been getting them sponsorship <laughs> checks recently, but this video was not sponsored. So like, Share your girl. I'd appreciate it. So foundation. I hope this is the right color. I have no idea. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. I got mine in the shade Cinnamon. Full coverage, great for all skin types. Ultra weightless, full coverage foundation with an oil-free, silicone-free formula that lets skin breathe. Vegan, oil-free, gluten-free, silicone-free, cruelty-free, yada, yada, yada. For $40? I pay $40? Sorry, I'm just getting mad because I didn't realize it was $40. Jesus, if this is the wrong color, I'm I'm setting something on fire. <laughs> so it says to shake it before applying. Granted, my, my NARS foundation is 40 something, right? 42 or something. That's still expensive. And I'm gonna just squeeze a little bit so we can see some texture. Okay, so she's thick and the oil is still like separated. Like it's still separating. That color is not bad. That's not a bad color. Okay. Why does it smell like that? It is, a, it's scented. Not heavily, but it does have a scent. It smells like another like skincare product I've used before. By the way, I'm going in with the sponge. This is the Real Techniques one. Um, I only own one actual beauty blender and that is a Bolton ass sponge. I don't know why people are like, I'm a beauty blender. Like it's a sponge. It's not super heavy, but I know how some people don't like to have face products with a scent. Like for instance, like every base product from Huda Beauty, why does it smell like that? Why is it so strong? <laughs> like, it smells like straight up perfume. This smells vaguely peachy. Oh, the color worked out okay. I am getting, what I call this full coverage? I don't call this full coverage. I call this like, it's a cute little medium, a mull coverage, medium full. Granted, I didn't apply very much because you know, it's like $3 a drop, so. Okay, I feel like this dries down really quickly or maybe it's just using it with a sponge that's resulting in that because I feel like I'm having to apply a lot of makeup. Maybe I'll apply some with my hands because every time I see demos, they're like doing it with their hands. I actually don't like applying things with my hands when they're like full coverage. It's just something kind of gross about it. It feels like I'm rubbing pudding on my face, but okay. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like applying it with my fingers. That, that was just kind of gross actually. So this color, um, uh, if I remember correctly, it's because 
all the other colors just didn't look like they were deep enough or they were too light or they're like something was off about the other one so that's why i picked this color but granted i was buying online so you know i look like a carrot <laughs> i look like a oompa loompa's big toe <laughs> check the colors like is there a color that would have matched better okay maybe tan would have been the better color for me golden olive undertones does this look golden olive to you okay maybe this color would have been better in summer but now like my shade is starting my tan is starting to fade i don't know if you would consider that a blunder on milk makeup's part or on my part and it's oxidizing <laughs> The finish of the foundation it's nice i'm all, i also look like i'm wearing a lot of makeup because i am um i think that's more my fault than the foundation because it kept sucking into the sponge and the sponge the sponge i always use the line like i keep blending it down hoping but it's starting to oxidize it reminds me of like the milani foundation the two-in-one foundation the two-in-one is uh ten dollars and the color matches me better. I wouldn't consider this matte though. I maybe give this like a satin. I decided to get three colors of the concealer. I have one in medium tan, cinnamon, to match my skin. One in deep, which would be my quonsula. So the Flex Concealer runs for $28. A full coverage long wearing concealer that blends with skin to conceal dark circles, blemishes, and more. It is flexible so it shouldn't crack or get into fine lines. Okay, so the light one's medium tan. Gonna go under the eyes with that bad boy. Okay, simonim and then zip. Uh, uh, uh. Right, and I'm gonna use the same sponge to blend, blend, blend it out. Okay, so I like the concealer. I think I like the concealer more than I like the uh, the foundation. I'm getting some creasing though, so definitely gonna have to set it. So that's not that big of a deal. Okay, now that we have highlighting and contouring and whatnot, I don't really mind that my foundation is a little warmer than I would generally go for or preferably go for. So far I'm noticing that the concealer has quite a bit of a grip, which I don't mind. I don't wanna say a plasticky feel, but like there's there's no like lightweight feel of either of these products. These are makeup makeup to me. Okay, so I feel like my skin looks nice. I feel like it looks very perfected. This to me does not look like no makeup makeup. So, I mean, it doesn't claim to be. It's giving me closer to full than not. Like around my nose, let me bring you in. To me, that looks a little bit, a little bit cakey. A little cake, just a smidgen, you know, just a little bit. So if you have like places that collect foundation, so for me, <laughs> that's like around my nose, around my mouth a little bit, use a lot thinner layers there, maybe even go in with a concealer brush to just like get a little bit on there. It looks like full coverage makeup. I don't think it's anything special so far. <laughs> okay, now we have brow products or brow product, a singular one. This is the brow gel. Do I have makeup all over it? <laughs> yes, I do, because you stand a mess. $18, I have mine in dark brew. This is a waterproof gel brow pencil that glides on smoothly in a matte finish for 10 hours of wear. So it's like this pencil, this looks like a, kind of like a gel liner type pencil. I imagine this isn't for precision, it's a little stiffer than I thought it was, but yeah, this doesn't strike me as for precision. So if you want to do hair by hair, this is probably not the product, but I have giant eyebrows, so I don't really care too much about that. But it has the little spoolie and I'm just gonna go in and like comb through my brows, get some of the makeup out of it that have come from the whole foundation application situation. So this is definitely more on the waxy side than it is like a more stiff pencil. I generally don't use pencils that are this malleable, but I'm kind of with that brow though. It's kind of like a mixture between a gel and a powder. It, I can, ooh. That's a brow. That's a good brow. Whoa. I did not think I'd like that. I colorize this really nice. I thought it would be too dark, but it's not. <laughs> Upon first application though, I can tell you who this will not probably work for. If you have no brow hairs, this is probably not gonna work for you because it'll just smudge on your eye or, or on your eyebrows. I feel like it, you won't be able to get like a hair by hair stroke type thing. Like this is very much so for very general to some extent, even messy application. Oh, that's good brow. When that's a natural good brow. Only thing though, 
If you could see, I've only used it once and it's already like super dull. That's annoying. This little bean right here is gonna be my favorite. This is the Milk Makeup Translucent Medium Good Ingredients Epic Payoff. This can't be the name of it. Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder is the name of it. I didn't know what color to get, so I figured to get translucent was safe, right? I don't know, maybe not. Who knows, we'll see. <laughs> it's $29. I got translucent medium, and then the darkest is translucent deep. The thing is with deep setting powders, I've noticed that when I get them, they're always mad red on me, but sometimes the lighter ones are too ashy, so we shall see how this goes. Silicone free, talc free, lightweight setting powder that absorbs oil, cutting shine, not glow. To leave skin matte and lock makeup in place. How is it, how do you cut shine but not glow? Are they not the same thing? <laughs> what she looks like, she's a little bit yellow banana -er. banana -er. And I'm just gonna, ooh, that under eyes crease in. Okay, no, we can't press that in. I don't have a problem with smile lines with most foundations, but this is like giving me a hardcore one. Do y'all see that? I haven't been here that long. I didn't age 80 years while <laughs> doing my makeup. But we're gonna, definitely gonna have to set that. I don't usually have that problem with products. My under eye looks so bad. That, like I haven't been here that long. I don't know if, I hope it's picking up on camera, but it's like really deep for me. <laughs> so we're gonna set that and see if that does us any good, but it just looks so dry. I mean, so far it's just powder. I don't see what they were talking about as far as it like, oh, mattified, but does it take away shine? It's just like, it's not like hocus pocusing me. Like it's not giving me otherworldly. It's I think it definitely looks better now that we've powdered, but I don't think it looks spectacular in any way. It looked like I put on foundation and concealer and some powder. <laughs> I feel like I could, I guess what I'm saying is I feel like I could have gotten the same look without these products. But now that we've powdered, I'm not getting as much creasing, so it definitely needed to be powdered. Like this is not one I can finesse and be like, oh, I'm gonna go the rest of the day and not powder. I want that dewy look. That's not an option. So I got a bronzer. This is the matte bronzer in Blaze, which is the darkest color. Well, there's two colors. This is the darker color. Oh God. Why does it smell like that? Why does it smell like that? Seriously. Like it smells like a crayon, but not like the good crayons, not the 64 pack or the 128 that you used to like covet when you were a child, you know, with the one with the, with the sharpener in the back. It's not that, it's like rose art. Like what you give when you can't get your best, you get, you know, the second up, the side bay of crayons when you were in kindergarten. It smells like that. How much was this? <laughs> Cause I swear to God, if they made me pay some serious money for a crayon, like a giant freaking crayon, I'm $24. This was $24. A creamy matte bronzer stick for the face body that provides an immediate hydrating warmth. It is kind of shiny. I don't want my bronzer to reflect. I don't understand. This whole thing is weird. Also, I noticed that it has quite a pull when applying it. So am I supposed to apply this directly from the thing or am I supposed to put it on my fingers? I don't know. I'm gonna try directly from the thingy thingy. See, that's not good. So like, I'm pressing really lightly, but do you see how it's like sticking? It's like lifting my uh, foundation. Also, where is it? <laughs> Wait a second, I don't see anything really. Like, do y'all see something? I did not pay $24 for invisibility. Oh my God. I'm going in. <laughs> Ugh. This also has that like tacky feel and that crayon smell is mad strong, dude. Okay. Yeah, because I had to press so hard up here, it's like moving my foundation. So I gotta like move it back in place. I don't see anything. I'm just gonna say right now, I don't like any of the base products. <laughs> The foundation is average. The concealer creases like a mofo and it's still creasing. I put that powder on, look under. Look at my eyes, see into my future. Do you see that? That's not good. And I put a lot of powder after a while because I was like, okay, well, I look old. <laughs> Do you see that? 
my under eyes don't do that like i don't have this issue i'm not getting any more cre well no that's not true i'm still getting creasing right here oh no i don't like any of the base products that's ugly the foundation is average the concealer is creasing the powders not keeping anything from creasing. The bronzer can't see it. And it smells so strongly of wax. I can't, like, I don't even have the thing near my face right now, it's on the floor. And I and it has the cap on it. I can smell wax. Is it on my hand? Yeah, it's my hand. Also, it made the side of my face kind of tacky. I was watching, I think it was Jackie Ina's video on the bronzer and she was like, it doesn't show up on me. But Jackie is a few shades darker than me, so I was like, maybe it'll show up on me. Nope, nothing. At all. So far, just the eyebrow thing is a win for me. Another thing in this shape, and I don't have very high hopes for, is the lip and cheek. This is in the color Rally. You know, this is in a very similar format, very similar shape. This glides on way better than the bronzer already. The, br the bronzer was tugging and it don't stain. Let's try. Okay, that's not the method to do it because it's lifting up. I think you can see that on the thing. It's lifting up my foundation. So perhaps that's not the method. So let me use my fingers and see how that goes. It's kind of oily. So like me putting the blush like right here was not a good idea. Yeah, it's kind of like greasy. So this time I'm gonna apply it more on the outer corner cause I don't want it to be like right here. There's something kind of sticky and malleable about it that's just not working with the foundation. So it's making it kind of pick up the color. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's making it go a little blotchy. Like the coverage is all around it, but not in the middle where I put the blush. Let's see what it looks like on the lips. Maybe I'd like it better there. Nope. That's <laughs> Oh my gosh, she is such a fail. <laughs> Now I'm no stranger to the kind of like oily, greasy look. I don't mind it, but something about this is just unflattering in person. Like it looks good on the cheek, but like I said, you, like you can see this uh, mole right here. You can see this beauty mark right here. You can see it because it sheared out the full coverage foundation to such an extent that you can. My under eyes look horrible, so. <sighs> okay, I got the mini ones because one was sold out in the large size and I didn't want to have a bigger one of the other one. I'm kind of weird like that. Actually, to be honest with you, this size makes more sense. Like why would I go through like a highlighter this freaking big? Like I'm not going to. Anyway, this is in Lit. It's a cream highlighter, like a champagne, beige champagne highlighter. I don't see any glitter in that. It's just nice. Turnt, which is like a lighter, less champagne version, silvery, white, goldy color. I'm gonna go with the first one because I think that would be more flattering. I'm going to learn from my last lesson and do not go directly with the thingy. This feels to have, this has more of the texture of the um, blush, not the bronzer. That's pretty. I feel like this isn't super spectacular though. I do like, since this is the mini though, I do like the size. My under eyes look so bad and it's so hard. It's, it's actually legitimately distracting. Like they look really bad. It's so deep, but the highlighter is nice. Yeah, I think it's nice. Again, I don't consider that crazy unique though. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You clicked on this video for honesty and that's what you're getting. These I have hope for. I swatched these and these look really, really good. These are the eye pigments. This is in Gig. Actually, no, it's more of a bronze. Ooh, yes. Yes, that's gorgeous. Okay, that's nice. I like that. That That's giving me love. That's giving me life. And this is called Silent Disco. Okay, this is a horrible place to put a swatch, smartness. If you look up close, it has like red and purple sparkly sparklies in it. I'm gonna take just the tiniest, little itty bittiest, smallest little bit and put that on the eye. Maybe I should have did one eye at a time. I actually didn't think about that. Oop. Okay, let me blend this one out. <laughs> okay, that's pretty. Okay, give it. Okay, this brush is falling apart. That's what I get for washing my brushes in a laundry bag in my washing machine. <laughs> Lazy life hacks, am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Maybe I'll put the darker one under just cause I can, you know? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Okay. A dab. I am not going to dab. It is 2018. Under my eye. 
because hopefully it'll cover up this mess that is my under eye. Okay, so definitely apply too much. <laughs> well, you know what? Screw it. Let's go all the way down so that I can cover up how patchy my under eyes are. Not patchy, how creasy my under eyes are. Because this is applying really smooth even though I applied a hella. But <laughs> it's applying well. This eyeliner is the Longwear Gel Eyeliner. Um, it's in black. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not everybody's gonna get that joke. This is $22. A highly pigmented waterproof gel eyeliner that slides on and lasts all day and night. I haven't put liner on my waterline in such a hot minute, but it's like, I feel like it's kind of necessary for this because there's just so much going on on my lower lash line. Somebody watching this is going crazy like, oh my God, this is so ugly. Wait until the lashes are on, B. You don't know what you'll like until you like it. And if you still don't like it, it's cool. You watch the video. Thanks. Hope you subscribe. See me for next time. Hit the bell notification so you can be the first to say you don't like it. Ooh, she said quick. Okay, so we are gonna have a line up front. We're gonna have an actual wing because this side dried before I could blend it out, so. That's black though. That's really pretty. That's a good liner. I feel like there should be a sharpener in here. Is there one? Found it, there is a sharpener. I was about to say, it has to be here somewhere. Then where did the spongy thing? Oh, yeah, that was good. It's nice and black, nice and smooth. Didn't get all patchy on me. Um, I just put it on the waterline, so it's hard to tell how it wears there, but it, so far so good. Okay, so they got eye glosses. Eye glosses, I don't know why. Cause to be honest with you, they're just normal glosses that they just say for whatever reason you can use on the eyes. I guess they're eye safe maybe. Probably not, it's still goop going in your eyes. I don't know. But these have a color. So if you would like want your thing to have a color. Um, I have two, these are referred to as the eye vinyls. These are $20. And for whatever reason, there's only one on the website right now for some reason. Okay, this is Tunnel, the black one. The black one is the only one online. Maybe these are going discontinued, which would make this entire point of this video pointless. But I have swatched these before and they are thick with two C's. It kind of defeats the purpose putting eyeshadow on my eye already, but. And the second one here is called Bridge. This is like a nudie one. For today's purposes, I'm gonna use the nudie one, but that's what the black one looks like. Really, really pigmented. So if you wanted to just use that on your eyes, you certainly could, I'm sure. Um, it's an eye gloss. It shall crease because it's an eye gloss, so keep that in mind if you're not into creasing, probably not your thing. I feel like if you're gonna put on eye gloss, you can't mind the creasing, because that's kind of like the whole point. As far as like the applicator, it's this like sponge tip applicator that the products come outside of it, from within it, rather. Okay, so what I thought would happen is starting to happen. It's breaking down the eye pigment, so we didn't find a miraculous product that can withstand eye gloss, but I'm not that like peeved about it. I guess I'm just gonna go over everywhere that the pigment was and kind of avoiding the liner because I don't want that to get messy. I want that to kind of stay where it needs to be. She is thick, but she's thick with a reason for a purpose because you don't want it to like move all around, especially if you want to put it in a very strategic place. So like I said, I don't want it to really touch my liner because it'll break my liner down most likely. Can feel it. She's sticky. Um, I feel like when you I feel like when you do a glossy eye, you're being a little high maintenance anyway. <laughs> so you gotta expect a little bit of discomfort in the sense that you're putting gloss on your eye, so what do you expect? I will say with this color, I'm not finding that a whole lot of the pinkiness is showing through. Whereas the black one, it's like it's very much so black, and you can see that. This is kind of like a very sheer pink. Or at least on my skin tone, it's going quite sheer. I mean, it's eye gloss. I think it looks nice. I don't think it's worth $20. <laughs> I don't think this will, like if this for some reason works exceptionally well over other glosses that I've used near my eye, then maybe. Now it's time for mascara. I thought I bought both of them, but apparently I didn't. Ubame mascara? Is that how you pronounce it? There's the Kush mascara that, um, for obvious reasons is quite entertaining and probably a lot of people want to know how I feel about it. And I, like I said, I thought about both, but I did not. Anyway, $24 black full volume mascara with comfortable wearable texture. Oak charcoal that gives lashes dense color while sapphire dust adds dimension and depth. Here, this is really weird looking, kind of looks like a sex toy, but 
It just looks like mascara. I will say I do like the shape of this in the sense that you can use just one of the little balls. <laughs> Go into the lashes like right here. Does that look super spectacular to y'all? It doesn't to me. I'm gonna take a little bit more of like the lighter eye pigment. Since it already like disappeared on the top, I'm just gonna put some somewhere, I guess in this inner part. I mean, it's makeup. <laughs> I feel like I need a lash. Cause I guess I expected that mascara to do more. I'm gonna go put a lash on and we can see how things are going. Okay, so definitely feel like the lashes saved this cause I was not feeling this at all <laughs> before this. And now I'm kind of like, oh, that's kind of cute. Not really, did somebody kind of do something. It's of a thing and not a look it's more of like a she's a look a look i don't know oh if you're wondering i'm wearing the iconic lashes by house of lashes so lip products i have three different ones because there's quite a few different lip products first is this casualty this is the milk makeup lip color this is in cream so when this arrived, I don't know if you can see that, but the top of it has lip color on it. You wanna know why? Cause when it arrived, it was just like, it fell out. It was, it was, she was on a trip flying away. Yeah, like that. That's the entire thing just booped out. And as you can imagine, I was feeling some type-ish of way. She's, she's creamy, but she's not secure. She like grinds against the side of the pencil. Like there's rubbing marks all around it and that's disconcerting to me because that means it'll fall apart because it is falling apart. If you buy it in store, maybe you won't have that problem. But yeah, I feel it like moving inside the thing. Also the color is ugly. Ugh! Yeah, it's like rocking from side to side. It's gonna cut in half. And I'm trying to like use some firmness to like stick it back in the thingy, but no. There's no saving that. And that color is hideous. As far as texture wise, it's lipstick. Faint crayon smell as well, but it's nowhere near as bad as that bronzer. Next, we have a gloss. This is the holographic lip gloss, Mars. This shade looks really pretty, at least in the tube. It's like a peach, like red holographic, like it, oh, the peach isn't showing up at all on camera, but it is a peach. Okay. It's not ugly, it's just like not cute. Cuggly? Is that what we cute ugly? It's not shiny. I don't, and it maybe might be bouncing off the light a little bit. It's like a satin gloss, which is ew. Who wants a satin gloss? It also has like a weird kind of pastel -y dry look. Maybe this would be better as like a topper on top of other things. Okay, I just had a horrible thought, but it kind of looks like a blue and alien. <laughs> That's kind of... This is ugly. Um, okay. It's not sticky though. So if you have a thing with sticky glosses, this isn't sticky. It doesn't look like a gloss. It doesn't feel like a gloss. I don't know. When I keep working at it, it ain't that ugly. Yeah, and it accentuates like every line in my lip and it's kind of like gunking up. I just, ugh. Hey, hopefully this last product won't be bad. This is the <laughs> lip vinyl, presumably to be the lip version of their eye vinyl. So something a little glossy. This is in Flossy. This color is really pretty. It smells like crayons! Like, why? 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't ask for much. At least I don't think so. But maybe you can, maybe a little bit. It smells like finger paints. That color's pretty. Okay, I can deal. That's pretty, but I just don't think I like it on its own. Okay, I'm gonna try the the cuddly gloss on top of it and see if maybe I can get more of like a, a look, you know? That's better. Oh my God, thank God. Okay, ooh. I'm tasting a little bit of like paint by numbers. Ooh, okay, this was a roller coaster ride. Um, There's a lot of duds, at least to me, in this whole experience. And it's very, very annoying because it's like, am I gonna take it back? No, I don't even know where the boxes are. <laughs> boxes away a lot of these products just simply do not work for me or don't work well enough that they justify price you know what i mean so foundation bleh it's bleh it is normal 40 dollar foundation it reminds me a lot 
of like a thinner version of the Milani uh, Perfecting Conceal. I ran out, so that's why I can't show it to you. That one's quite thick. This one is thinner in consistency, but when you put it on your face, it's just as heavy. And basically when it all boils down to it, it's just a uh, full coverage foundation. It did what it said it was going to do in that regard. It's full coverage. I don't feel like in any way it's spectacular. I feel like the color was a little orange at first, but you know, after some concealing and you know, balancing things out with my under eye and around the perimeter and everything, I feel like we got somewhere. It's just not that good. Dog, the dog agrees. Dog doesn't like it either. I'll continue to use it. Cause like I said, I don't know where anything is. <laughs> so I can't take it back, but like it's makeup. Like it's very, very average to me. These concealers are bad. They're bad, they're sheep. They're bad, they're bad. I've never had a concealer crease this bad. I don't have a huge creasing issue with concealers. I never have. These settled so bad in my laugh lines. I don't have a problem with laugh lines. I don't have an issue with that. They just went right in there and just like stayed forever. And then under the eye just looks like I was some, like I got scratched by Wolverine just under there. And they call themselves flex concealers. So I'm just like, flex where? It's supposed to move with your face. Move off of it, like move in the opposite direction. Like, I don't know. On the places where my face doesn't move that much, i.e. my forehead, like on the sides of my face, basically where I put the darker concealer, it blended out fine, it looks nice. But just the places where my face moves, like most of my face will move, my eyes, my mouth area, upper lip, that tends to be where I conceal the most. So it, this is just a dud. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like these. Um, I don't know, maybe I apply too much. Maybe that was it, maybe I'm supposed to apply less. I'll try to get, I'll keep trying everything in this video, but uh, first impression wise, I'm not feeling most of the base products. Powder is powder. If you need a powder, that's an option. The bronzer smells like crayons. It's really stiff. It doesn't show up. I don't know, maybe this product is supposed to be used without wearing makeup. I don't think I would wear this even then. If you apply it directly, it kind of like pulls at the foundation. So I guess that's something to wear if you're not wearing foundation. When would you wear this? The lip and cheek thingy on my cheeks, it was pulling my foundation really, really bad. It's quite malleable and liquidy, kind of greasy. Isn't inherently an issue, but because it's so much so, it's like lifting. And if you try to apply it like this, it's definitely gonna come off. If you use it with your fingers, it works better with your fingers, but I'm still noticing that it shears out everything in this direction, in this area. I guess this is another product you can use on bare skin, but like when I have bare skin, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not putting blush on. I'm not gonna take the time to do that. Even if I had a better color for the lips, I feel like the texture was kind of weird. I didn't really enjoy it on my lips. The highlighters are average. They're highlighters, cream highlighters. If you need a cream highlighter, I would recommend getting the minis because the big one is kind of cumbersome. Okay, this eyebrow pencil slaps though. <laughs> I really like this eyebrow pencil. So far, that's the only thing that I'm like noticing that I feel very powerfully about. I really like this eyebrow pencil. If you don't have like a lot of eyebrow hair, you probably won't like this, but I like it because I have bushy eyebrows and it kind of just makes everything look really nice and full and natural. Only problem uh, is that you're gonna have to sharpen it a lot but I don't really mind that because I really like the way my eyebrows look right now. The eyeliner is nice. It's a liner. <laughs> if you need a pencil liner, it's a nice one. It's really smooth, really creamy. It's holding pretty well in my lash line. Granted, I've only been doing my makeup. I've been sitting here for like two hours playing with this stuff. I know you guys see like a 20 minute video, but my waterline is still intact and it was easy to apply. It has its own sharpener, it has its own smudger. It's an eyeliner though. So if you need one, this is an option. I wouldn't say rush out to go get it though. I really like the Milani one. I'm plugging a lot of Milani in this video, not on purpose, but they have like a smooth one that's way cheaper <laughs> and very similar. You have to sharpen that one though. Uh, it's not retractable. Eye pigments, I really like these. These are really pretty. They really lock on really well. Like the one under my eye blended out really nice. I like the two colors I picked. The eye glosses are glosses, so. I don't think they're super necessary. The black one is really pigmented though. So if you need it like a black gloss for your eye, that's cool. But this other one that I use today for the purposes of this video, um, it's quite sheer. Yep, I'm getting creasing, but it's an eye gloss. So that's what I expect. It's a little sticky. Like it's, 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 I can tell it's on my eye, but again, it's an eye gloss. So I'm not, I'm not gonna harp on that. This is more of a thing about taste. Are you gonna be using eyeglasses very often? I like them, I like having them, but it's up to you really how often you would use a product like this. The mascara is average. The lip products. I don't like the lip thing, the, the matte lipstick. Well, it's not that I don't like it. No, that's it, I don't like it. I don't like 
the packaging because it kind of melted on itself and it's kind of hard to apply now. The color wasn't very pretty on me, but that's my fault more so than Milk Makeup's fault. But the applicator, like it melted too quickly. The lip vinyl. This thing is nice other than the fact that it still smells like crayons. I feel I feel like the, the scent has dissipated a little bit now that it's been on my lips for a while, but a really pigmented lip gloss. So I kind of like that. It's growing on me, I like it. As far as the hologram one, it's ugly on its own. It looks good together with other things. So again, how often do you think you would get used out of a topper like that? It's up to you, I like it. Ironically, considering it's a gloss, I feel like it mattes out my lips more than it makes it glossy, but I feel like anyone that really likes milk makeup is gonna be very pressed by this video, but you asked for my opinion. If you found this video helpful, or if you know anybody that is curious about some products from Milk Makeup, be sure to share this to them because I keep it way too honest sometimes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and follow me, what? Subscribe is what I was gonna say. Follow me on my social media, Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD, and I will see you guys next time.